Hello everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements, and today we want to deal with a pretty typical situation. We have a tour here of the city that was recorded in public. However, we have an individual in our video who does not want to be in the video. The man in the yellow shirt doesn't want to be in our video. And so we have to figure out how to blur his face and then follow him with that blur. We call it uh, the cops effect from the old TV show Cops. Uh, they used to blur out people's faces or logos. And we'll show you how simply that is done here in Premiere Elements. The first thing we need to do is make a duplicate of our video. And I'm going to do that by going to Project Assets and just dragging the video clip down here to my timeline and putting it directly over the other video clip. Now, as you know, these video tracks are closed. You can toggle them open if you want. But just to save vertical space, we're going to keep them closed for now. Just know this is a duplicate of that. And in fact, I can right click and select delete audio because I only need the video portion. And what I'm going to do first is blur the video that is on video two. So I'm blurring the, the duplicate. Now in order to create the blur on the second track, what I'm actually going to do is pixelate the picture uh, by going over here to the effects panel and adding the mosaic effect. And then we're going to bring up horizontal and vertical blocks to about 100. I can do that either by scrubbing across here, moving the sliders, there we go, or actually typing the number in. Now you can see that would then render this man's face sort of incomprehensible. We couldn't see who that is, in other words. And now what I have to do is isolate that effect so that we're only seeing it over the man's face. In order to do that, we're going to use the track mat. But before I do that, I need to define where the track mat is going to land by creating a graphic. And the easiest way to do that, there are a number of ways to do this, is just to go to the text menu at the top of the screen, select new text, default text, will delete the text. I'm going to select the selection tool here on the adjustments panel, delete the text, and instead go over here to shapes, and we're going to draw a round circle. I'm going to draw it approximately over the man's face. We'll close the adjustments panel, and I'm going to stretch out this clip so that it is the same length as our video clip. So this is going to define where our track mat is, and the track mat is going to isolate our mosaic video so that it only is in the area where the white dot is. So now what we have to do is track that white dot so that it stays over the man's face. That's easy enough to do. All we need to do, let's go back to the beginning here. We're just going to use some motion keyframes with the title selected with that white dot selected. I'm going to go over here to applied effects, open up motion effects, and then I'm going to open up the keyframe controller for motion effects. Now, once I turn on animation, toggle on animation by clicking on this little stopwatch, a set of keyframes is created. And these keyframes are going to track the position of that white dot. If I move this playhead to the end of the clip, I can move that white dot. And you can see that every time I move it, it's going to add another keyframe. And now all I need to do is simply move through the whole clip. And I can do that one frame at a time if I want uh, by using these arrow keys on my keyboard. But every time that white dot moves off the man's face, as I go through this clip, I need to reposition it. You can add as many keyframes as you want. Some of those keyframes can actually go off the video. Man, actually, step there he is. He's back again. So let's go back here. And you can be as precise or as imprecise as you want. The important thing is that we keep his face covered with that white dot. And you get the idea here. We could go through the whole thing, constantly repositioning it. And as you see, if you look over at the keyframe controller, you see that all of those new positions for the dot are indicated by little keyframes, little diamonds on the timeline on the keyframe controller. Now that we've defined the position for the track mat, let's close that screen. And now we're just going to tell the program using the track mat to take the position of the white dot and then use the video that's on video two wherever that white dot appears. So I'm going back over here to my effects panel and I'm going to choose the track mat and drag it down to the video on video two. So we're going to apply it to the video that we've added the mosaic to. And then here comes the fun part. Now that we're in applied effects with the video on video two selected, I'm going to set the mat to use the graphic that's on video three. There it is. That's all we need to do. So what's essentially happening here 
is that the entire track two has become invisible. Watch, I'm going to actually disable the video that's on video one to show you. Right click on it and select or uncheck enable. And you can see this is all that is on video two now. Only the area that's defined by the white dot is visible. Everything around it is transparent. And if I were to go through here, you can see it follows the man's face the whole time. We'll re-enable the clip on video one. A cool little trick using a high-level tool called the Track Mat. Very effective for creating the blurred face a la Cops Premiere Elements. Now, if you want to know more about this wonderful tool, be sure to check out the many tips and tutorials at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything, including how to do this really cool effect, check out our moviepix.com guide for Premiere Elements, as well as cool tricks and hot tips for Adobe Premiere Elements, our special effects book, taking you step-by-step -step through 50 special effects, including this one. I'm Steve Rizzetti. Thanks for joining me. See you again soon.